my gosh, that's gorgeous. Treat your ears to the sweet sounds of strings. Next week, Chamber Music Northwest is kicking off their 2022-23 season with a special performance at the new Resource Center. And the concert will feature some of our region's best string musicians and a local chamber orchestra. And joining us in studio now to preview this, Violinist Adam Lamont, first of all, super excited to have you here, but Great that's not your here. only title. You no. are also the artistic director for the Amadeus Chamber Orchestra. Good morning. Good morning to you. Thanks for having me. How Thanks exciting. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, no, I want to point out, um, I know that some of my fellow music nerds might have noticed, but you know, so you, Amadeus, this group, you are a conductorless uh, chamber music group, yep. which is uh, incredible to me that you're on stage, you're all playing together, no one is at the helm giving you that time. That's I mean, right. what an unreal experience. Well, it's like a no net. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Everyone's on your own. So, um, yeah, it works in a different way than a conductor in a large orchestra, mm -hmm. as you can imagine. We're a smaller group, so we can exist without a maestro. Um, I, I kind of do a little bit of that from the first violin spot, cueing and things like that, setting tempos and all that, but everyone has to have their antennas out to the nth degree yeah. in something like that because everyone is equally responsible for keeping everything going and having subtle musical cues from each other right. and playing off each other and it's quite a great dynamic. What a cool connected experience. That's really neat. Fascinating. Yeah. Fascinating. So you're kicking off this performance at Re at the Reser, yep. which is a beautiful new venue mm -hmm. uh, that, that is, I feel like they have just burst out of the gates ever since they, yeah. they opened. Yeah. yeah. How exciting is it to, to kick off this this performance over there? It's fantastic. We've played there uh, back in May, and let me tell you, it's a beautiful space. Yeah. It's about 500 seats, not too big, not too small. It's very uh, flexible. They can do theater programs and music programs like ours, um, and the sound is fantastic, and the seats are really comfy. Oh, great. Yeah. Well, See, that, that's, that is a nice plus. Yeah. Comfy yeah. seat to really <laughs> get comfy and enjoy the music. So so tell us a little bit about this concert, sure. uh, the, the music and the musicians involved. Yeah, it's it's quite a, a, a varied concert. We have music from the Baroque. We have a piece by Johann Sebastian Bach for two violins that all Suzuki students and young musicians have played in their violin, beginning of their violin careers. Mm -hmm. And then we have a piece, a new piece by Alistair Coleman, who's 24 years old. Wow. wow. He's still in school. Wow. And he composed He an composed this piece of incredible music. piece for violin and string orchestra. Oh my gosh. And so Anna Lee, which is our, our protege violinist that we're that we're featuring, is gonna be playing the solo part to this. And it's all the story, this musical depiction of the Apollo eleven trip to the moon in nineteen sixty nine. No way. What the what the astronauts must have been feeling, what the feeling in the in the atmosphere must have been circling the moon like that. Get out of here. It's incredibly effective. For a 24-year-old, it blows me away. Wow. So it's it, that would give the audience that same that same feeling, yeah. you know, of, of probably feeling weightless, I would imagine at some point. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Oh, that is so incredible. So yeah. neat. You know, yeah. the thing that's really cool about chamber music, you know, you, you touched on it a little bit being conductorless, it's a smaller group. It's a different experience for people to come and watch this kind of concert versus a large symphony. Yes. What do you think people get out of this? I think the intimacy. Yeah. You can really mm. see the interaction amongst the musicians, yeah. um, as opposed to the symphony experience where you're just being blown away by this massive amount of sound right. and this incredible sound. Which is also cool. Which is also <laughs> cool. It's it has different. this place. But for us, it is, it's a little more like um, large-scale chamber music, mm -hmm. like three string quartets playing together. And they're so used to, again, having those antennas out and playing off each other in a live way that's really exciting for the audience and great for the musicians, um, especially that you played a little clip of the Serenade for Strings at Tchaikovsky opening this. Mm -hmm. Beautiful piece. Um, we're looking forward to playing that as well. It's just, it's just so romantic. It's so heartrending. It's really beautiful stuff. So we've got a great program. That's yeah. really, really cool. Uh, you know, we've got to let you go here soon, but for anybody who is maybe you know, on the fringe, I feel like, you know, people who are in that world, who are in the, the orchestra world, they, they are probably already excited about this. But if you have somebody who is maybe on the fringe of like, you know, maybe I should go check this out. What, what's, sure. a, what's a reason that person should go? They should go not only for the intimacy, but also for the introduction of a new piece of music that is just so effective. And so, I mean, anybody would be blown away by this. Anybody yeah. across any spectrum, whatever your musical taste or anything like that. This is the thing to see right now. Oh my gosh, all, all kinds of live music, especially after the last couple of years, to get to come right. back and, and yeah. have this experience with people on stage. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to go to a chamber music show before, I, it's so cool. You, you got to go check it out. Well, Adam, thank you so much for being here. My pleasure. Here. Great to talk with you. Break a leg. Same. Have fun thank this you so week much. As you open a new season, the Amadeus Chamber Orchestra going to be on stage next week to kick off the 2022 23 season of Chamber Music Northwest.
Again, it all starts September 29th at 7.30 p.m. at the Research Center in Beaverton. Go to cmnw.org to get tickets. And while you're there, check out the rest of the season. They've got shows all the way into 2023. Some really cool groups and uh, excited for all of it. Also, the chairs are very comfortable. I hear. <laughs> so really you should go. You should go. <laughs> uh, Adam, it was great to talk with you. Nice to talk with you. It is 843 Foodie Friday. Going to wrap things